Hey guys, what is up? Today I'm going to be showing you how I get this perfect eyeshadow look using my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. It is super easy using a couple shades and I'm going to show you how I get my shimmers to pop and how to get everything to blend perfectly. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. So I have you guys zoomed in so that way you can get a better look of what I'm doing with my eyeshadow today. Before any eye look, you want to prime your eyes, and these two are my favorites. This is my NARS Soft Matte Concealer, and then this is my MAC Paint Pot. And Painterly, I'm going to be going in with my NARS one today, just because that is what I already used to carve up my eyebrows. I prefer using a concealer over an eyeshadow primer just because in my experiences it has worked so much better and it covers up my veins that I have on my eyelids and any discoloration. For this step I just go in with my ring finger and get some product out and then go straight onto my lid. You can use a brush for this but I just prefer using my finger because I do have that natural heat and it warms up a lot quicker. You can use any powder that you feel comfortable with this. You can use a pressed powder such as the MIX Studio Fix. And I'm going to be using that with my Morphe M504. Just tapping in the product and then lightly setting all over my lid. Doing this makes blending out your eyeshadow so much easier and it doesn't go on patchy. And it also makes your eyeshadow last a really long time. For eyeshadow today, I'm going to be going in with my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. This is one of my favorite palettes that I've ever used. It has so much variety in it and it looks great in pictures and a whole lot of looks you can do with this. I love the Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush set. It does come with a little travel case as well. It's super cute, so definitely check that out if you're interested in getting brushes. So first, I'm going to be going in with this shade right here on my Morphe R37 brush. And with all eyeshadows, you do want to tap off the excess like so because it does have that extra pigment on it and that is what's going to cause fallout. But then I'm going to be going straight in my transition shade. The transition shade is just for a barrier between the other colors that we're going to be putting on our eyes so that way it blends out a lot more seamlessly. And you are going to want to take this shade in windshield wiper motions and just blend in little circles as well all over the crease. And to blend that shade to make it look a lot more seamless, we're going to go back in with that Morphe brush that we used to set our eyes and blend around the edges. Once we have that transition shade on, I'm actually going to go in with my Cover FX Translucent Setting Powder and I'm going to be going in with this Morphe E7 brush. This also comes in the Jaclyn Hill kit. So I'm going to be dipping into my powder with this brush like so. And then I'm tapping off just a little bit of the excess. So you're going to want to align this with your outer corner just like you would a winged eyeliner. This helps to structure our eyeshadow and give that uplifted winged out look without having to go back in and clean up our foundation and remove that. So this is a great barrier in between it. The second color I'm going to be going in with is this shade right here. And I'm going to be going in with my Morphe M513 brush, packing in the color and tapping off the excess as well. And I'm going to be placing that one right under the crease shade that we just put, a little bit lower and a little bit more defined. And we're also going to be going in a little circle motions with this and windshield wiper motions as well to get the best blend. And you can go right over the line that we created with the translucent powder because we are able to clean that up. You're going to want to press down on this powder so that way it gives a super sharp line. And then I'm going to go back in with a Morphe M504 brush and blend those edges as well to make sure everything is blended out. I do this in between almost every single step that way everything is blended and we don't have any harsh edges. Then I'm going to be going in with this orange shade right here. Again you want to pat in the pan and then tap off your excess. And with this shade we're going in the exact same place except we're not going to go as far onto the lid as we did with um, the second shade that we used. For our last dark shade, I'm going to be going in with this chocolatey brown shade right here and I'm going to be taking that on my Morphe E17 brush. This one you want to go in with a light amount because they are super super pigmented and we're just going to put that on our outer corner right in this very edge, blending downwards. And once we have that applied, we're going to go in a little circular motion right here. 
And then again, blending that out. Now you could stop here and just do a white matte shade on your lid. That way it's just an all matte look. But today I'm going to want something a little bit extra. So I'm going to go ahead and use my concealer and show you how I do that to make my eyeshadows pop. I'm going to go back in with my NARS concealer that we use to prime our eyes. In this one, I'm going to be using a M2113. This is a very tiny precision brush. So I'm just going to be applying that all over my lid. And I'm also creating a little bit of a line, almost like a half cut crease. And now that we have that applied like so, I'm going to go in with my ring finger and blend out those edges. This is going to lay down a tacky barrier so that way when our shimmer eyeshadow goes on, it sticks very, very well and looks super pigmented. So now I'm going to be going in with the shade right here. These are super, super pretty. And I'm going to be applying that on my finger. And then I'm going to be tapping that on where I have the concealer. So now I'm going to be going back in with that little detailer brush. The Morphe M213 brush. So this side is covered with concealer, but this side is completely free. So we're going to be using this side to put that shimmer eyeshadow on. I'm going to go back in with my Morphe M513 brush. And I'm going to be blending up those edges just by tapping and swirling my brush around blending everything together one last time and then i'm going to be going in with this motd brush it just has a little pointer at the end and we're going to be using this brush for our inner corner highlight and our brow bone highlight and for that i'm going to be using the first shade that we have right here then i'm blending those in so they're not so harsh now it is time to wipe that bake away and I'm just going in super light motions, that way it doesn't disturb any of the foundation or concealer that we have underneath it. And then wiping away any of the other fallout that we have. This palette doesn't really give any fallout, so it's awesome for that. Now to define my eyes, I'm just going to be going in with my Stila All Day Liquid Eyeliner. This is a felt tip, and this is my favorite eyeliner. And then I'm just going to be lining my upper lash line to get that definition. I do this in super light strokes. So now that our eyes are defined with the eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and apply my mascara. So after you have set your under eyes, we're going to go ahead and do our eyeshadow on our under eyes as well. And I'm going to be going in with my Morphe E36 brush. We're going to be dipping right into the first shade that we use for our transition and applying that under our eyes. Then I'm going to be using the orange shade that we used as well. And then lastly, I'm going to be going in with that dark brown shade that we use, and I'm just going to be applying this on the outer corners. And then you want to make sure all of those are blended as well, so I'm going back in with that blending brush, taking the tip and going under my eyes multiple times to make sure everything is blended. And then after we have that done, I'm going to be going in back with my mascara and doing my bottom lashes. So this is what the final eyeshadow is looking like. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and apply some falsies. These are my favorite ones at the moment. These are Kiss Soul Tree. I already do have individual lashes on, but if I didn't, I would go ahead and apply these with my House of Lashes lash glue. But for now, I'm just going to stick with my individuals. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video on how I showed you how to do my eyeshadow. I think next time I'm going to be filming a video with my boyfriend showing how he will do my makeup. So we'll see how that goes. As always, please like and subscribe this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.